I'm delighted to be with you all. I'm Laura Shore. I was the founding dean of the Macaulay Honors College. The idea for the Honors College was the chancellor's idea. I have to give him credit for it. He really wanted to do this. It was his idea. At Hunter, um, I had tried to do something on a much smaller level that um, in a way is kind of similar to what eventually happened in the Honors College. And I knew that amongst our students at Hunter, there was a very small group of truly outstanding students who in some way or another got lost in the shuffle. You know, they would be in a classroom where they were the so far ahead of everybody else that it wasn't a challenge for them. And I thought, if you could put students like that together in a room, just think of what you could do. The chancellor's opportunity that was offered me to uh, become the founding dean was just perfect. I was, I was thrilled. I, I knew that this was a good idea, that it could happen, that the students were there. I had no doubt that there were students on each of the campuses um, who merited being in an honors program. Starting any new program, I think whether it's a business or an academe, you have this traditional startup problems. You don't really have a staff, you don't really have a budget, you don't even have a location, you, and you have to do everything at the same time. You have to create um, a, an esprit de corps with people who are beginning to become part of a program, but you don't even have the whole program worked out yet. But what we had from the very beginning was a very clear vision of where we wanted to go. We knew that in almost every CUNY campus and in every campus that is a non-honors program across the United States, students almost never graduated in four years. It took them five, six, or more years. So we knew we wanted this group to finish in four. The students weren't aware of this, but there was a lot of skepticism in the community. Oh, this is another initiative that will die. It will never last. There was always a question asked to us at the Honors College, but basically asked to CUNY, why are resources going into this? These smart kids, they can go anywhere. They'll do fine on their own. And the answer that we gave is, yes, that's true. They will do fine on their own, but they'll do even better if they're in this special program that's geared to them. You want, we said to the city, these people to stay in New York, don't you? You want them to be the leaders of our city. These are smart New Yorkers. Don't you want to keep them? This is what we have to do to keep them. When we negotiated with the various high schools in New York City to get students to apply to the Honors College, they said, what is this? Stuyvesant wouldn't talk to us. Bronx High School of Science wouldn't talk to us. Now they can't wait to apply. But the first class, you had to have a lot of courage to say, yeah, I think I'd like to do that. These were risk takers. These were students who were willing to try a brand new program that no one had ever heard of before. The students in the Honors College were from the very beginning interested in each other. They wanted to understand who the cohort was and they were determined to give back. From the very first semester, one of the students in the class announced that when she graduated, she was a first semester freshman, when she graduated, she wanted to give back to New York City. That was really gratifying. Once it was clear that this is not only continuing, but it grew every year, the program expanded every year, the larger community said, okay, let's, we, want part, we want to be part of it. We want to be partners in this. We worked with several of our earliest donors most of whom were themselves graduates of CUNY. And when we went back to them and said, you've been a donor to the program, we'd like you to set up internships for our students. They said, well, we do it for Harvard, we do it for Yale, we do it for Princeton. We've never done it here. And I said, okay, give us the same chance you give them. And if they don't match up, don't take them. If they do, do. They were very surprised after they interviewed our students. The attempt was made to draw the attention of New York City to these students. That attention was also drawn through the cultural passport. When we went out to get permission from the Metropolitan Muse uh, Museum of Art to list them on the passport, they said, oh yes, we, you know, we're sure you, 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 you want us to give it for free to students so that then one day they'll use the museum. And we said, no, no, you got it wrong. We want you to give opportunities to students now because one day they'll be your board of trustees. That's what we're looking for. I think th probably the most defining moment was our commencement, the commencement for the first class. 
It is a great joy to welcome you to the first graduation ceremony of the CUNY Honors College. It was four years. We could show that almost everyone who started finished in four years, that almost everyone who started had amazing opportunities after graduation, were headed off to graduate schools, to professional schools, to good jobs. Everything we had hoped to achieve and more had been achieved for that first class. I want to tell you my dreams for the alumni first. For the students who graduated in 2005, I'd love to know what happens in the next 10 years with your lives because you've made the transition from school to the next step. Most of you are um, either graduated from graduate school and working now. Um, some are still in graduate school, but you're at the beginning of your professional lives. Ten years from now, I expect to see you on the board of um, various museums and various cultural institutions in this city. I'm very, very optimistic about your future. As far as the Honors College is concerned, they've got such a huge opportunity to continue to improve uh, the, what they're giving their students. And there's no way but up. They're, they're, they will continue to succeed. For the next 10 years, I see nothing but real wonderful progress for the Honors College. Graduates, you have taken many strides on the road to becoming the best. Continue on your journey. Come home often to share your experiences so that future generations of students may benefit from your contributions to knowledge. And tonight, if you are in a place where you can see the Empire State Building, look up at its lights. They will be the colors of your caps and gowns, blue and gold, in your honor.